We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, through the church's usual order, the Reverend Eric Scott Carlson has been called by the Lord of the church to be associate pastor here at Peace Lutheran Church in McMurray, Pennsylvania. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Almighty God, by your Son, our Savior, you have always given to your church on earth faithful shepherds to guide and feed your flock. Therefore, we pray, make all pastors diligent to preach your word and to administer your means of grace, and grant your people wisdom to follow in the ways that lead to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hear what the Holy Scriptures say concerning the institution of the office of the Holy Ministry. From Matthew chapter 28, Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Jesus said to them, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Hear what the Holy Scripture says concerning the responsibilities of the office of the Holy Ministry. Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. He said to them, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. From 1 Timothy chapter 4, it says, Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Devote yourself to them, so that all may see your progress. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by doing so you will save both yourself and your hearts. From 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God. And lastly, from 2 Timothy chapter 4, 1 to 5, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and, on, and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but Having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from the listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. And finally, hear this word from 2 Corinthians. Let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord, for it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. Dear brother in Christ, the Lord grant that you receive and keep these words in your heart so that you may be strengthened and encouraged in your labors. God gathers his church by and around his holy gospel and thereby also grants it growth and increase according to his good pleasure. That this may be done, he has established the office of the holy ministry into which you have been called by the church and have been ordained and consecrated by the prayer and the laying on of hands. It is fitting that you should, again, acknowledge the responsibilities of the holy office in which you are to serve as associate pastor here at Peace Lutheran Church. 
in the presence of this congregation and before our Lord God, to whom you must give an account now and at the last day, I now ask you. Do you acknowledge that the Lord has called you through his church into the ministry of word and sacrament? I do. Do you believe and confess the canonical books of the Old and New Testament to be the inspired word of God, the only infallible rule of faith and practice? Yes, I believe and confess the canonical scriptures to be the inspired word of God and the only infallible rule of faith and practice. Do you believe and confess the three ecumenical creeds, namely the Apostles, the Nicene, and the Athanasian creeds, as faithful testimonies to the truth of the Holy Scriptures, and do you reject all the errors which they condemn? Yes, I believe and confess the three ecumenical creeds because they are in accord with the Word of God. I also reject all the errors they condemn. Do you confess the unaltered Augsburg Confession to be a true exposition of the Holy Scriptures and a correct exhibition of the doctrine of the Evangelical Lutheran Church? And do you confess that the apology of the Augsburg Confession, the small and large catechisms of Martin Luther, the small called articles, the treatise on the power and the primacy of the Pope, and the formula of Concord, as these are contained in the Book of Concord, are also in agreement with the one scriptural faith? Yes, I make these confessions my own because they are in accord with the word of God. Do you promise that you will perform the duties of your office in accordance with these confessions and that all your preaching and teaching and your administration of the sacraments will be in conformity with the Holy Scriptures and with these confessions? Yes, I promise with the help of God. Will you faithfully instruct both young and old in the chief articles of the Christian doctrine? Will you forgive the sins of those who repent and will you promise never to divulge the sins confessed to you? Will you minister faithfully to the sick and dying? And will you demonstrate to the church a constant and ready ministry centered in the gospel? Will you admonish and encourage the people to live a, to, to a lively confidence in Christ and in a holy life? Yes, I will, with the help of God. Finally, will you honor and adorn the holy office of the ministry with a holy life? Will you be diligent in the study of Holy Scriptures and the confessions? And will you be constant in prayer for those under your pastoral care? I will, the Lord helping me through the power and grace of his Holy Spirit. Beloved in the Lord, the Holy Scripture says, Obey your leaders and submit to their authority. They keep watch over you as men who must give an account. Obey them so that their work will be in joy, not a burden, and for what would be of no advantage to you. You have heard the solemn promises of him called to be the associate pastor here at peace. Will you receive him? Show him that love, honor, and obedience in the Lord that you owe to the shepherd and teacher placed over you by our Lord Jesus Christ. Will you support him by your gifts and prayers for him always that in his labor he may retain a cheerful spirit and that his ministry among you may be abundantly blessed? If so, then answer, we will with the help of God. We will. Will you honor and uphold your pastor as he serves Christ in all God-pleasing responsibilities? Will you aid him in the cares of, your, of his family? Will you be diligent to put the best construction on everything, recognizing that love covers a multitude of sin? If so, answer, we will with the help of God. We will with the help of God. The Almighty and most merciful God strengthen and assist you always to do this. Are you willing and ready to assume the public trust and responsibility? Eric Scott Carlson, I install you as past associate pastor of Peace Lutheran Church in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray. Merciful God and Father, you have graciously promised that through preaching of the crucified Christ, those who believe in him will be saved. By your Holy Spirit, grant grace to Pastor Eric Scott Carlson, whom you have given to be a pastor here as associate at Peace Lutheran Church. Grant him readiness and steadfastness in the ministry, patience and understanding, and a great zeal for you. Support and strengthen him in your service, that by your word, your church may be built and increased. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our great high priest, the Lord. Amen.
Please, Ron. Go, therefore, be a shepherd of the good shepherd's flock. Preach the word, administer the holy sacraments, offer prayer for all the faithful, instruct, watch over, and guide the flock among which the Holy Spirit has placed you. Do it not for earthly gain, but with great joy, for you have been called not to lordship, but to serve the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. The almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen.